Hello and welcome to what is, I believe, my 20th Elder Scrolls Online house tour. Uh, today I'm going to show you the thief's hideaway that I made in the Hunter's Glade house. Now, I wanted the outside to look quite derelict, um, as if nobody was here, nobody been here for a long time, so apart from these torches, uh, I've tried to keep it quite natural, with lots of these uh, plants and uh, various ruined things, um, to sort of distract from what I will come to later. Uh, I built a cave around the entrance to Hercene's realm because I didn't really buy this house for that. I bought it for the um, the tomb area that's down below. Um, but I'll just show you quickly what I did in the Hercene's realm portion of this house. Um, I had a lot of slots left, which I will show you at the end of the house door. So I just wanted to make something that was kind of um, orange and glowy and magical using a lot of those um, glowing orange mushrooms and um, sort of glowing plants and various other things that I probably aren't going to use in another house um, and also it matches the watercolor here um, so as you can see I built these basic bridges across the water here um, to get to the other side there's that red glowing crystal over there which I haven't really got a specific idea in mind for what it's there for but um, it's kind of like a focal point at the end of the bridges so yeah this is all that I've done here really um, of course there was a hell of a lot more space here so if I ever did want to add anything else or completely redo this and build say my own city or something as Verenda suggested then I could do that um, but I will head back now to the indoor portion of this place which is what I bought it for and show you that part so yeah oh I believe I forgot to show you the mammoth uh, skull that I have up there behind there we go very appropriate for where we are I don't know how a mammoth would get down those stairs but yeah um, so yeah I use these planks to try and uh, create the illusion that this was sealed off um, obviously with the fact that you need to be able to get your character through I didn't make it a narrow narrow gap um, but it sort of screens off this area which is very full of light I used a lot of those craglawn chairs and I finally got around to using those dragon freezes that I had in my bank since I bought them a very long time ago um, but yeah the first thing you see when you enter this part of the house is of course that gorgeous massive dining table and the fireplace in the background with the Abar's Landing banner. Uh, this table I kind of intended it as a cross between a dining table and a meeting table um, but predominantly a meeting table since there's no kitchen in this house. Um, as you can see there I've got a couple of scrolls and some sweet rolls and some wine. Uh, perfect for any meeting. But the majority of the downstairs is kind of storage for stolen goods and artifacts. As you can see, I've got a lot of bags and baskets and boxes and uh, pottery and artifacts and statues uh, stored down here. And Tithus, of course, is uh, keeping record of everything that I have. Um, but yeah, this took me quite a few times to get to a place where I was happy with it. It wasn't until the Elsewhere furniture was released that I managed to create this upstairs part um, to a standard I was happy with because of course these stairs and uh, these wooden um, platforms are a lot better than what was available before because I was using the Eleanor ones. Um, but this is a sort of um, personal living area for me, or my character, my main character, um, with of course a bed and some chairs, some wine, always necessary, and one of my cats is creepily sitting up there watching you sleep, as cats tend to do. Over here we have a desk with various thief things on, like scales, money, and uh, gemstones, etc. And then one of these adorable little jaboas here. Um, I'm such a sucker for these guys, they're just so cute. Oh. Um, and then of course over there we have a bathing area with a second cat. Um, so yeah, this is pretty much all of this house. Um, but I mean, this room is what I... That's pretty much what I bought this house for, um, but let me just show you, I have a lot of slots left. So if I ever wanted to build my own custom dungeon at the start of this place, or um, build an entire city or something in Erzine's realm, I could do that because, I mean, look how many slots I've got left, it's ridiculous. Um, 
yeah, uh, this is the end of the tour. Thank you very much for joining me today, and uh, I hope to see you again in the next video. Bye!